Welcome to the Travel Diaries. In this video we will find 10 Best Places to Visit in Kazakhstan Kazakhstan is a vast and diverse country with a wide range of attractions, from its stunning natural landscapes to its rich cultural heritage. Here are 10 of the best places to visit in Kazakhstan. Almaty Almaty is the largest city in Kazakhstan and serves as a major cultural, economic, and transportation hub for the country. It's a fascinating destination with a mix of modern urban life and natural beauty. Here are some key attractions and things to do in Almaty. Panfilov Park This central park is home to the Zenkov Cathedral, a beautiful Russian Orthodox church built entirely of wood without nails. It's a stunning architectural marvel. Koktobi Mountain Take a cable car ride to the top of Cope Toby Mountain for panoramic views of Almaty and the surrounding mountains. There's also an amusement park, a small zoo, and several restaurants at the summit. Medu Ice Skating Rink, located in a mountain valley, this high-altitude ice skating rink is a popular attraction in the winter, allowing visitors to enjoy ice skating against the backdrop of beautiful mountains. Please like and share video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos. Shambalik Ski Resort, a short drive from Almaty, this ski resort offers excellent winter sports opportunities, including skiing and snowboarding. In the summer, it's a fantastic place for hiking and outdoor activities. Almaty Central State Museum, explore Kazakhstan's rich history and culture at this museum which features a diverse collection of artifacts, art, and exhibits. Almaty Botanical Garden This lush garden is a serene escape from the city's hustle and bustle. It's a great place for a leisurely stroll and to enjoy the diverse flora. Koktobi Park, an amusement park located at the summit of Koktobi Mountain, offering various rides, entertainment, and dining options. Charon Canyon while Charon Canyon is a bit of a drive from Almaty, it's worth the journey to witness the breathtaking rock formations and natural beauty of this unique canyon. Almaty Green Market, Zelayani Bazaar, visit this bustling market to experience the local food culture, buy fresh produce, traditional Kazakh dishes, and souvenirs. Almaty Opera House, enjoy a cultural evening by attending a performance at the Almaty Opera House known for its excellent productions and beautiful architecture. Almaty Tower, you can visit the Almaty Tower for more stunning views of the city. The tower also has a restaurant with a rotating platform for a unique dining experience. First President's Park, this park offers a lovely space for a leisurely walk, and it features the Museum of the First President of the Republic of Kazakhstan, dedicated to Nursultan Nazarbayev. Almaty is a vibrant and dynamic city with a mix of cultural attractions, natural beauty, and modern amenities. Whether you're interested in exploring its history, enjoying the great outdoors, or experiencing its contemporary urban life, there's something for everyone in this beautiful city. Charon Canyon Charon Canyon is a natural wonder located in southeastern Kazakhstan, not far from the city of Almaty. Often referred to as the Grand Canyon of Central Asia, Charon Canyon is a breathtaking destination known for its dramatic rock formations, unique landscapes, and the Charon River running through it. Here's what you need to know about Charon Canyon. Canyon Geology Charon Canyon was formed over millions of years by the Charon River, which has carved deep and colorful ravines into the sedimentary rock layers. The result is a series of striking red rock formations, rugged cliffs, and deep canyons. Valley of Castles, the most famous part of Charon Canyon is the Valley of Castles. This section of the canyon features tall, narrow spires and columns that resemble the shapes of ancient castles, hence the name. These formations are a unique and surreal sight. Hiking and Trekking, Charon Canyon is a paradise for hikers and nature enthusiasts. There are several trails and paths, some of which can be explored independently, while others may require a local guide. Hiking here allows you to appreciate the unique rock formations and the natural beauty of the area. Charon River, 
The Charon River flows through the canyon, and you can enjoy picnicking or relaxing by the river banks. Swimming in the river is not recommended due to its strong currents. Charon Canyon National Park The canyon is part of the Charon Canyon National Park, which was established to protect the unique environment and ecosystems of the area. It's also a habitat for various wildlife species. Rafting and canoeing During the spring and early summer when the river is higher, some adventurous travelers enjoy rafting and canoeing along the Charon River. This can be a thrilling way to experience the canyon from a different perspective. Photography, Charon Canyon is a photographer's dream. The interplay of light and shadow on the unique rock formations, especially during sunrise and sunset, provides excellent opportunities for stunning photos. Camping, while there are no official campsites within the canyon, some visitors choose to camp along the river or in the surrounding area. Be sure to check local regulations and obtain the necessary permits if required. Visitor Center There's a visitor center at the entrance to the canyon, providing information about the area, its geology, and guided tour options. It's a good starting point for your visit. Getting there, Charon Canyon is about a 3-4 to four hour drive from Almaty. You can hire a local guide or use GPS navigation to get there, as the roads can be a bit challenging. It's recommended to go with a reliable vehicle and to be prepared for changing weather conditions, especially if you plan to visit in the colder months. Charon Canyon offers a unique and otherworldly landscape that's well worth exploring for anyone interested in natural wonders and outdoor adventures in Kazakhstan. Medu Ice Skating Rink the Medu Ice Skating Rink, often simply referred to as Medu, is a famous high-altitude ice skating rink located near Almaty, Kazakhstan. It is one of the most popular and well-known ice rinks in the world due to its unique location and stunning natural surroundings. Here's what you need to know about Medu. Location, Medu is situated in a mountain valley in the Zyaliski Alatau mountain range which is part of the larger Tian Shan mountain range. It's located at an elevation of approximately 1,691 meters 5 feet, above sea level. History The ice skating rink was built in the late 1940s and has been a beloved attraction in Almaty for decades. It was originally designed to provide recreational opportunities for the people of Almaty and has since become a symbol of the city. Size and Facilities Medu is one of the highest altitude ice skating rinks in the world, covering an area of around 10,500 square meters. The ice is artificially maintained, and the rink features a professional ice rink, as well as facilities for speed skating and ice hockey. Natural Beauty the stunning natural scenery surrounding Medu is a major part of its appeal. The ice rink is nestled in a picturesque mountain valley, and visitors can enjoy breathtaking views of the Tian Shan Mountains while skating. The clear mountain air and beautiful landscapes make it a unique and tranquil experience. Season The ice rink is typically open for skating from late October to early April, depending on weather conditions. It's a popular destination for both locals and tourists during the winter months. Recreation, Medu is not just for professional skaters, it's a place for people of all skill levels to enjoy ice skating. Visitors can rent skates at the rink, and there are instructors available for those who want to improve their skating skills. Competitions, Medu has hosted numerous international ice skating competitions, including speed skating and figure skating events. It has a reputation as one of the fastest ice rinks in the world for speed skating due to its high altitude. Restaurants and cafes, there are restaurants and cafes at Medu where you can warm up with a hot drink or enjoy a meal while taking in the mountain views. Accessibility, Medu is easily accessible from Almaty by road. It's a popular destination for both day trips and longer visits, and it's often combined with a visit to Shimbalik Ski Resort, which is nearby. Whether you're a seasoned ice skater, a casual enthusiast, or simply looking to enjoy the incredible mountain scenery, 
Medu Ice Skating Rink is a must-visit destination for those exploring the Almaty region of Kazakhstan, especially during the winter season. Big Almaty Lake Big Almaty Lake is a stunning high-altitude lake located in the trans ili Alatau Mountains near Almaty, Kazakhstan. This glacial lake is renowned for its crystal-clear turquoise waters and the beautiful natural scenery that surrounds it. Here's what you need to know about Big Almaty Lake. Location, Big Almaty Lake is situated at an altitude of approximately 2,511 meters, 8,235 feet, above sea level, making it a high-altitude destination that's easily accessible from Almaty, the largest city in Kazakhstan. Formation, the lake was formed as a result of glacial activity during the Ice Age. It's fed by the Big Almaty River and is nestled between towering peaks, making it a captivating location for nature enthusiasts and photographers. Turquoise Waters The lake's water is known for its brilliant turquoise color, which is a result of the presence of various minerals and the unique way the water reflects and refracts sunlight. The color of the lake is particularly striking in sunny weather. Hiking and Trekking the area around Big Almaty Lake offers excellent hiking and trekking opportunities. Several well-marked trails lead to vantage points with breathtaking views of the lake and surrounding mountains. Popular trails include the one leading to the observatory and a path to the glacier. Wildlife The area around the lake is home to diverse flora and fauna, including marmots and various bird species. Keep an eye out for wildlife while you explore the region. Observatory, near the lake, you can visit the Big Almaty Observatory, which conducts astronomical research and is often open for guided tours. It's a great opportunity to learn more about space exploration and astronomy. Photography, Big Almaty Lake is a paradise for photographers. The striking contrast between the turquoise water and the rugged, Snow-capped peaks of the trans ili Alatau Mountains offers countless opportunities for stunning landscape shots. Access, the lake is accessible by car from Almaty, and the drive takes around 1 to 1.5 hours, depending on road conditions and traffic. Note that access to the lake may be restricted at times due to its location within a nature reserve, so it's a good idea to check for the latest information before your visit. Weather. The weather around Big Almaty Lake can vary significantly depending on the season and elevation. It's cooler at this high altitude, so be prepared for colder temperatures, even during the summer months. Cafes and facilities There are cafes and basic facilities near the lake where you can enjoy a meal, snacks, and hot drinks. Big Almaty Lake is a serene and beautiful destination providing a tranquil escape from the bustling city of Almaty and an opportunity to connect with nature in a remarkable setting. It's a popular day trip or weekend getaway for both locals and tourists, offering a refreshing change of scenery. Astana, now Nur Sultan. Nur Sultan, formerly known as Astana, is the capital city of Kazakhstan. In 2019, the city was renamed Nur Sultan in honor of Nur Sultan Nazarbayev, Kazakhstan's first president, who served in that role for nearly 30 years. The city is a unique and rapidly developing urban center that showcases modern architecture, urban planning, and serves as the administrative and political heart of the country. Here are some key highlights of Nur Sultan. Modern architecture, Nur Sultan is known for its impressive and futuristic architecture. The cityscape features numerous skyscrapers, iconic buildings, and cutting-edge designs. Notable structures include the Beytarek Tower, the Khan Shatir Entertainment Center, and the Palace of Peace and Reconciliation. Beytarek Tower, Beytarek is one of the most recognizable landmarks in Nur Sultan. It is a 97-meter tall tower with a golden sphere at the top, representing the national emblem. Visitors can ascend the tower for panoramic views of the city. Khan Shatir Entertainment Center, this unique structure is often referred to as the world's largest tent. Inside, you'll find a shopping mall, entertainment facilities, 
and even an indoor beach with sand and palm trees. Palace of Peace and Reconciliation, also known as the Pyramid of Peace and Accord, this pyramid-shaped building is a center for promoting religious and ethnic harmony. It hosts conferences, cultural events, and an opera house. Nua Astana Mosque, this grand mosque is the largest mosque in Central Asia and an important religious site. It can accommodate thousands of worshippers and features an elegant architectural design. Museums and Cultural Institutions Nur Sultan has a variety of museums and cultural venues, including the National Museum, the Museum of Modern Art, and the Presidential Center of Culture. Astana Opera This modern opera house hosts a wide range of performances, including opera, ballet, and classical music concerts. Kazakh Eli Monument, located in Independence Square, this monument symbolizes the unity and aspirations of the Kazakh people. It is adorned with bronze sculptures and intricate details. Green Spaces, Nur Sultan boasts several parks and green spaces, including the President's Park, which is a beautiful area for relaxation and outdoor activities. Korgaljan Nature Reserve, located a short distance from the city, Korgaljan Nature Reserve is a an important wetland area. It's a prime spot for bird watching and experiencing Kazakhstan's diverse natural environment. Nur Sultan's Winter Entertainment In the winter, Nur Sultan becomes a hub for winter sports and activities. The city's ice skating rinks, ski slopes, and winter festivals offer a unique experience for visitors. Nur Sultan's transformation from a small provincial town to the modern capital of Kazakhstan has been impressive. The city's architecture, infrastructure, and cultural institutions reflect the country's aspirations and development. It's a fascinating destination for those interested in contemporary urban planning and architecture, as well as for those looking to explore the unique culture and history of Kazakhstan. Shimbalik Ski Resort Shimbalik Ski Resort, often referred to simply as Shimbalik, is a popular winter sports destination located in the Tian Shan Mountains near Almaty, Kazakhstan. This ski resort is known for its excellent skiing and snowboarding opportunities, as well as its stunning alpine scenery. Here's what you need to know about Shimbalik Ski Resort. Location, Shimbalik is situated in the Zyaliski Alatau mountain range, just a short drive from Almaty, making it easily accessible for both locals and tourists. Winter Sports, Shimbalik is one of the best places for skiing and snowboarding in Kazakhstan. The resort offers a range of slopes suitable for various skill levels, from beginners to advanced skiers and snowboarders. There are ski lifts to take you to the different slopes. Season, the skiing season typically runs from November to April, depending on snow conditions. Shimbalik has a reputation for having a longer ski season compared to many other resorts in the region. Equipment rental and lessons, visitors can rent ski or snowboard equipment at the resort, and there are instructors available for lessons. Whether you're a seasoned skier or a first-timer, you'll find the necessary support and equipment. Opre Ski Activities, Shambolik offers a variety of Opre Ski activities, including restaurants and cafes where you can warm up and enjoy local and international cuisine. You can also relax at the bars, which have panoramic views of the surrounding mountains. Winter Festivals, the resort occasionally hosts winter festivals, including competitions, music events, and other entertainment, creating a lively and festive atmosphere. Snowshoeing and hiking, beyond downhill skiing, Shimbalik offers opportunities for snowshoeing and winter hiking, allowing you to explore the beautiful mountain environment. Ski races and competitions, Shimbalik has hosted various ski races and competitions, attracting athletes and enthusiasts from around the world. It has the FIS, International Ski Federation, Alpine Ski World Cup on its calendar. Shambolik Village, the resort has a small village with a selection of accommodation options, including hotels and chalets. Staying on the mountain gives you easy access to the slopes. 
Scenic views, even if you're not a skier or snowboarder, Shimbalik is worth a visit for its stunning mountain scenery. The area offers breathtaking views of the Tian Shan Mountains, and you can take a cable car ride for panoramic vistas. Summer activities, Shimbalik is not just a winter destination. In the summer, it's a great place for hiking and outdoor activities. You can explore the alpine meadows, go mountain biking, and enjoy the fresh mountain air. Getting there, the resort is easily accessible by car from Almaty. It's recommended to check the road conditions and weather forecasts before your visit, especially during the winter months. Shambalik Ski Resort provides a fantastic escape from the city of Almaty and offers a range of activities for outdoor enthusiasts and those looking for a winter sports adventure. Whether you're an experienced skier or just want to take in the breathtaking mountain scenery, Shimbalik has something to offer for all visitors. Altai Mountains The Altai Mountains are a vast and remote mountain range located in Central and East Asia, covering parts of Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and China. The Altai Mountains are known for their stunning natural beauty, rugged landscapes, and rich biodiversity. Here's what you need to know about the Altai Mountains. Geography, the Altai Mountains are a complex and extensive mountain range that stretches across several countries. The Russian Altai is the most well-known, while the other portions of the Altai Mountains include the Kazakh Altai, Mongolian Altai, and Chinese Altai. These mountains are part of the larger Altai Sion mountain system. Biodiversity the Altai Mountains are renowned for their rich biodiversity. They are home to various plant and animal species, including snow leopards, ibex, argali sheep, and a wide range of bird species. The region is also known for its unique and rare flora. Lakes and rivers, the Altai Mountains are dotted with pristine lakes and rivers, including Lake Telitsky in Russia, which is one of the largest and deepest freshwater lakes in the world. The Chuya River and the Katoon River are famous for their scenic beauty and whitewater rafting opportunities. Scenic Beauty The Altai Mountains offer breathtaking natural beauty with snow-capped peaks, alpine meadows, dense forests, and dramatic valleys. The region is a paradise for photographers and nature enthusiasts. Outdoor Activities The Altai Mountains are a haven for outdoor activities such as hiking, trekking, mountaineering, horseback riding, and camping. The rugged terrain and pristine wilderness make it an ideal destination for adventure seekers. Cultural diversity, the Altai Mountains are inhabited by various ethnic groups, including Altaians, Kazakhs, and Tuvinians, each with their own unique cultures and traditions. Visitors can experience the local way of life, including nomadic herding practices and traditional crafts. Shamanism and Spiritual Practices The Altai region is known for its shamanistic and spiritual traditions. Many travelers visit the Altai Mountains to learn about these practices, including rituals and ceremonies conducted by local shamans. Golden Mountains of Altai This includes the Altai and Katoon Natural Reserves, which help protect the unique ecosystems of the Altai Mountains. The site is recognized for its cultural and natural significance. Altai Tavon Bog National Park, located in Mongolia, this national park encompasses the highest peaks of the Mongolian Altai. It is a remote and stunning area known for its rugged beauty, archaeological sites, and opportunities for mountaineering. Border Region The Altai Mountains are a meeting point of borders between Russia, Kazakhstan, Mongolia, and China, and the region has a unique geopolitical significance. Travelers often explore the border areas and take in the diverse cultures and landscapes. Visiting the Altai Mountains offers a chance to immerse yourself in unspoiled natural beauty and experience the cultures of the indigenous peoples who call these mountains home. Whether you're an outdoor adventurer, a nature lover, or interested in cultural experiences, the Altai Mountains have something to offer for all types of travelers. Baikonur Cosmodrome The Baikonur Cosmodrome, also known as the Baikonur Spaceport, 
is one of the world's most significant space launch facilities. It is located in Kazakhstan, near the town of Baikonur, and it has played a crucial role in the history of space exploration, particularly for the former Soviet Union and Russia. Here are some key points about the Baikonur Cosmodrome. Historical Significance Baikonur Cosmodrome has a long and storied history, having been established in 1955 during the Soviet era. It was used for launching the first artificial satellite, Sputnik 1, in 1957, and the first human, Yuri Gagarin, in 1961. Geographical Location Baikonur is situated in the vast steppes of Kazakhstan, which provides a safe and unpopulated area for rocket launches. Active Spaceport To this day, Baikonur remains an active space launch facility. It is primarily used by the Russian space agency, Roscosmos, for launching crewed missions to the International Space Station ISS, and various unmanned space missions. International Space Station Baikonur has been the primary launch site for missions to the ISS since the retirement of the Space Shuttle. Soyuz and Progress spacecraft, as well as the European Space Agency's ESA, Automated Transfer Vehicle, have been launched from here. Cosmonaut Training Center Baikonur is home to the Yuri Gagarin Cosmonaut Training Center, where cosmonauts receive training for space missions. This facility plays a vital role in preparing astronauts and cosmonauts for their journeys. Visitor Tours Baikonur Cosmodrome offers guided tours for visitors, providing a unique opportunity to witness rocket launches, explore the historic launch facilities, and learn about the history of space exploration. Tours are typically conducted under strict security and logistical guidelines. Proton, Soyuz, and other rockets Baikonur has been used to launch a variety of rockets, including the Proton, Soyuz, Zinyit, and others. These rockets are used for launching both crewed and uncrewed missions. Kazakh-Russian relations The use of Baikonur has been a subject of negotiation between Kazakhstan and Russia since the dissolution of the Soviet Union. Agreements have been reached to allow Russia to continue using the site, and the two countries have cooperated in its operation. Historical Launches Baikonur has seen numerous historic launches, including the launch of the first artificial satellite, the first human in space, the launch of space probes to other planets, and more. Launch Pads The Cosmodrome has multiple launch pads and facilities, each designed for specific types of missions, including crewed launches, planetary missions, and satellite launches. Baikonur Cosmodrome is a place of great historical significance in the field of space exploration. It continues to be an active spaceport and a center for space research and technology development. Visitors to Baikonur have the unique opportunity to witness space launches and explore the facilities that have played a significant role in humanity's journey into space. Oxuzabagali Nature Reserve Oxuzabagali Nature Reserve is the oldest and one of the most significant nature reserves in Kazakhstan. Located in the southern part of the country, near the border with Kyrgyzstan, the reserve is known for its diverse and pristine natural landscapes, unique flora and fauna, and its role in conservation efforts. Here's what you need to know about Oxuzabagali Nature Reserve. Establishment Oxuzabagali was established in 1926, making it the first officially designated nature reserve in Kazakhstan. It was created to protect the unique ecosystems and biodiversity of the region. Location The nature reserve is situated in the western part of the Tian Shan Mountains, part of the larger Central Asian mountain range. It covers an area of over 131,000 hectares, about 513 square miles. Biodiversity, Oxuzabagali is celebrated for its rich and diverse flora and fauna. The reserve is home to numerous species of plants, birds, and animals, including the rare and endangered snow leopard, lynx, Tian Shan brown bear, and ibex. Over 50 species of mammals and more than 250 species of birds have been documented in the area. Unique Flora, 
the reserve boasts a wide range of plant species, including many endemic and rare plants that are not found anywhere else. The Tian Shan fir tree, juniper, and wild apple are among the distinctive species that thrive in the region. Hiking and trekking, Oxuzabagali is a paradise for hikers and nature enthusiasts. The reserve offers well-marked trails and paths that lead through diverse landscapes, including alpine meadows, forests, and mountain valleys. Hiking allows visitors to explore the beautiful and unspoiled surroundings. Wildlife viewing, the reserve provides excellent opportunities for wildlife viewing, especially for bird watching. Many bird species inhabit the region, including griffin vultures, lammergeiers, and various songbirds. Mammals can also be observed in their natural habitats. Visitor Center, Oxuzabagali has a visitor center where you can obtain information about the reserve, pick up trail maps, and learn about guided tours and conservation efforts. Research and Conservation The reserve plays a vital role in the research and conservation of biodiversity in Kazakhstan. It's involved in studies on wildlife populations, vegetation, and climate change impacts on the region. Cultural Experiences The nearby villages surrounding the reserve offer visitors a chance to experience the traditional Kazakh way of life, including local customs, crafts, and cuisine. Visitor Guidelines To protect the fragile ecosystems of Oxuzabagali, visitors are encouraged to follow guidelines and regulations related to hiking, camping, and waste disposal. Entry to the reserve may require permits or permission from reserve authorities. Oxuzabagali Nature Reserve is a hidden gem for nature lovers, hikers, and those interested in biodiversity conservation. It offers an opportunity to explore and appreciate the beauty of the Tian Shan Mountains and the unique wildlife that calls this region home. Mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi The Mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi, located in the city of Turkestan, formerly known as Yasi, Kazakhstan, is a remarkable architectural and historical monument. It is dedicated to Koja Ahmed Yasawi, a 12th century Sufi poet and philosopher who played a significant role in the spread of Sufism in the region. Here are some key facts about the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi. Historical significance, Koja Ahmed Yasawi was a Turkic poet, mystic, and Sufi saint who lived in the late 12th century. He was a disciple of the renowned Sufi leader Khwaja Yusuf Hamadani and is considered one of the most important figures in Central Asian Sufism. Construction The mausoleum was commissioned by Timur, Tamerlane, the 14th century Turko Mongol conqueror, and was built between 1389 and 1405. It is one of the earliest and most significant examples of Timurid architecture. Architectural style, the mausoleum is a masterpiece of Islamic architecture, blending Persian, Seljuk, and Timurid architectural elements. The design includes a massive conical dome, intricate tilework, and geometric patterns. Imposing dome, the dome of the mausoleum is one of its most striking features. It is among the largest brick domes in the world, with a diameter of over 18 meters, 59 feet. Religious Significance The Mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi is a major religious pilgrimage site for Muslims in Kazakhstan and Central Asia. It holds religious and spiritual significance due to the veneration of Koja Ahmed Yasawi. Mausoleum Complex The site includes not only the mausoleum but also several other structures, such as a mosque, a minaret, and various buildings associated with the complex. The Kulvet Seminary, which was part of the complex, is particularly famous for its intricate decoration. Pilgrimage and festivals, every year, on the occasion of the annual pilgrimage to the mausoleum, a traditional festival known as Yasawi Days is celebrated. It includes religious rituals, musical performances, and cultural events. Restoration and Preservation The site has undergone extensive restoration and preservation efforts to maintain its historical and architectural significance. 
Conservation projects have aimed to protect and restore the delicate tile work and architectural details. Visitor experience, visitors to the mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi can explore the stunning architecture, wander through the beautifully landscaped gardens, and learn about the history and significance of the site through displays and exhibits. The mausoleum of Koja Ahmed Yasawi stands as a testament to the rich cultural and architectural heritage of Kazakhstan and Central Asia. It is a place of reverence, history, and artistry, and a must-visit destination for those interested in Islamic architecture and the spiritual legacy of Sufism in the region. Thanks for watching. Please like and share video and don't forget to subscribe our channel for more videos.